Oh, man. This opening is still amazing after all these years. Well, what's up, you guys? Welcome to yet another Zelda Ocarina of Time randomizer. I don't know what number we're on at this point. I typically do Majora's Mask more often than this game, but it's probably about equal, actually, now. But I am Bill, and this is Good Old Days Gaming, if you've never been here before. Got the Spirit Medallion to start, and we are an adult, and the Door of Time is closed. Now, I've done this before. This is what is known as a plandomizer, meaning you have total user control of where the items are, which in a way is a really awesome map editor for your favorite games. Super Metroid has it. I don't know what else has it. Um, but like I said, I've done this before, but at the time, they did not have a Triforce Hunt feature built into the randomizer yet. Now they do. And so this is that same concept where we start in as, an, as an adult, we have to get all the medallions before we even come close to finding the tools needed to open the door of time and return to childhood, which is basically the victory point. The last time I made this, I wanted the game to be over when we finally got back to the good old days, basically, and returned to the happy-go-lucky days of childhood. But it was impossible because you still had to beat Ganondorf, which requires being an adult. But now, there's a Triforce Hunt feature, so when we become a kid, at long last, all we'll have to do is go collect a bunch of pieces of the Triforce which are kid-exclusive, stuff that you could only do as Child Link. So, yeah, I just wanted to have another go at this. Assuming it works, I had a field day trying to get this thing to work. Let's see, Anju. Yes, our first ocarina, okay. I think this is gonna work, but I'm not sure, because like I said, it took like 13 attempts to get this thing to work appropriately and generate a seed. And it's gonna look familiar at first to the one I did prior to this that didn't have a Triforce Hunt. So we got magic up here. Every item has a purpose, and that's what is gonna be fun for you. Although the surprise factor of me not knowing where stuff is is missing. I might be too- yeah, too close to the edge. Little side note too, if this is your first time on this channel, I am not an Ocarina of Time speedrunner. I'm not ZFG or anybody like that. Clearly. I'm playing with a GameCube controller, and I have a feeling the joystick is starting to crap out on me. Excuses, right? Seriously, though. Okay, wait. So yeah, the excitement this time with a plandomizer. Building it is always a lot of fun, but you guys don't experience that part. So there we go, we got magic. Why would we have magic in an ocarina? Well, now we could get a song here. And this is going to be the theme of the whole thing, and like I said, where it's going to be fun for you to see how fluid the routing is, and how convenient it is. In a way, it's going to be like abridged Ocarina of Time 2, which I think is what I called the last one. So this is the Sun Song, not the Song of Storms, and I think that's what I did in the last one too. So again, the theme is the same, but it's the routing that is going to be fun. So if you're here for only the Zelda content, well here you go. A month ago, I was sick and tired of doing these things. And kind of opposed to doing another one, but now, with everything going on in the world... ...and having just finished Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, I'm perfectly fine with doing another one of these. And I wanted to give this another go now that the Triforce Hunt thing is available. Big chest indicates major item. I'm not gonna spoil what's in here. But... Adult's wallet. That's going to be important because there's a little bit of shop sanity enabled. Of course, it's plandomized, which again means there is at least one item in each of the shops that I intend to hit up that I intend to purchase. However, you cannot dictate the price of those items. Even though you could say what you want to be there, you can't say how much it costs. So to make up for that, that's why I got the wallet. And this is why we have the Sun Song, so we could check here. The idea here is my new favorite thing when you're playing a game for the 13th time or whatever, is limit the backtracking. So for the most part, we're going to hit up each area of this game once, and that's it. Just never look back. Zelda's Lullaby, because you need it for this game. Originally, in one of my plandomized attempts trying to create this, I placed that in the Water Temple, intending to not use it until that point, but I completely forgot you needed to open this grave right here. And I routed it, there's two items down here that you can get, and in that creation, I put two things that I expected to have up to the Water Temple. And it didn't occur to me until later that that's impossible to beat at that point. 
All right, no bow, so we gotta... Yeah. Also, red magic meter, blue hearts, because why not? It's like reverse Spider-Man. There was actually a coloring book when I was a kid. I was a big Spider-Man fan as a kid. And uh, I remember this coloring book. It had two Spider-Mans fighting with each other because the story in that coloring book was somebody was a, an imposter trying to pretend to be Spider-Man. And I remember that picture. I colored Spider-Man as he's supposed to be, and then the one that he was fighting, I did opposite colors. So where Spider-Man is normally mostly red and blue, I did it the opposite. But Din's fire! Again, do you see what I'm doing here? We just got magic. We got the songs necessary to get up to this point. And now we have Din's fire. We need to light the torches, so that's kind of the theme to expect going through here. Item pickups at the most appropriate time to limit backtracking and all that good stuff. There will be some dungeons omitted, based on how I routed it too. But yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna spoil everything. Big chest, that means important stuff. The hook shot, because without it, Adult Link is kinda useless. And I don't wanna race Dompe, because I never really liked his race, to be honest with you. Although they added a new feature with him now too. There's an option where you can make it so you only have to race him once, and as long as you do it in under a minute, you get both prizes. Whereas normally, you have to at least race him once before the heart piece is available. So, two races. But alright, we got the hookshot, so now we can get to the rooftops of the village. I'm gonna need some money, because once again, you cannot dictate the price of the items in the shop, which I have no idea what I'm gonna be walking up to here. And because of that, actually, our first item is going to be the Giant's Wallet. I'll spoil that one, because it doesn't matter, really. So yeah, I apologize if it's not really your cup of tea, with the player not really knowing where it's, what's where. I understand how that could be... take away from it, kind of. There we go, now we need some rupees. And the chest where the Redead Grotto is, I can't even get to it, because I don't have bombs or the hammer. Although it would be random anyway, so yeah. But I'm telling you, just sit back, pour yourself a beverage, and enjoy the routing of this. Because if you've ever built a plandomizer yourself for this game or Super Metroid, which has an amazing interface showing you the entire world map, which this game does not have that, but I understand that's a tall order to build something like that. Um, it's just a lot of fun designing it, and I think... It's very rewarding when you see something where you know you placed it. Like this! 200 rupees! That's gotta be how game developers feel. When they get everything going and they place stuff where they want it to be, and then they test it and it all works, that's gotta be such a gratifying feeling. And in a way, that's what a plandomizer is, like I said, because you put the item there, and when you go to that location, and there it is, and it's like, yes! It worked! And then you got all these ideas. But this is the shop. The other one's soft locks on Project 64, which is what I'm playing on, so I didn't put anything in there. But here is the bomb bag. 250? See what I mean about the prices? I did not account for that. Um... Say, first and foremost, this grotto back here. How did I forget about this grotto? I could have put something here. Another 200 rupee. I forgot all about this. Hopefully the game put junk here that's useful, like 50 rupees. Although I did set the world to minimal, which means it's barely going to fill it with anything beyond what I told it to. Nah. Well, that's extra. I wasn't expecting to get that. Alright, I gotta go chop grass. I'll cut that out, though, because that's going to be tedious. Alright, just enough. Two extra. There's the bomb bag. Now we can continue with what we were doing. So we are Adult Link with bombs and magic and stuff. And what are we close by other than Dodongo's Cavern? That's where we're headed. But remember, we don't have a strength upgrade, so we can't use the bomb flowers yet. So bomb ammo is something to consider. And once again, this is going to look very familiar if you watch that other plandomizer I also entitled Back to the Past. This is a similar start to that, but it gets way better once we get going. 
So stay tuned, I say. If you want. Deku Nuts up there, but we can get that on the way to Goron City. So Dodongo's Cavern, what we need right now is a lot of Skulltula tokens. So... What? Did you hear that? Did I stunned? Is this guy stunned? How the heck did the bomb way over there stun him? I've never seen that happen before. This dungeon's always fun as adult Link. But okay, so again, if you're new to this channel and you've never been here before, the way these Zelda videos tend to go, dungeons, we've seen them a million times at this point. Between everybody who records videos of this game, or plays it themselves even. So I usually kind of derail and go on tangents in the dungeons. So it's not all focused on the game. Well, there's our shield, because why not? It'll come in handy in some fights later on. Also got a black Kakiri tunic. Because I figured that's appropriate with everything going on right now. Plus I just like the color. Looks really good with the mirror shield too, I remember. Did, I think I may have had a black tunic on one of my seeds before. Oh yeah, it's really nuts what's going on between... Whoops. Drop bombs, please! Yes! I mean, we probably would have been fine with the 16. It's always good. But yeah, the other day I was really pissed off. It was... It's June 5th right now, as of me recording this. Tomorrow's my mother's birthday. I gotta... Make sure I'm prepared to... Be a good son, I guess. But, like, the first real big day of protests and stuff, and the whole... Bringing the military in and... I don't know, it was just... It was too much news. And it still is. I'm sure by the time this goes up, you can't possibly watch the news all day and not lose your mind. Like, I was really pissed off and in a bad mood looking at all that, so yeah, that's another reason why I'm playing this. And why the theme is here, too. And that's really all I'm going to say on it. I don't like to talk about politics, it's one of my least favorite things, but I understand, especially now of all times, we kind of all have an obligation to be informed and involved, because, yeah, it's definitely a time of change coming up. It's frightening, but, I mean, people have done bigger things before this. It's kind of nuts, too. I remember I used to always be sitting there bored when I was younger. And just wondering, I mean, even as a kid, I remember sitting in a history class once, and one of my classmates made the comment that we don't even know what's going to happen in our lifetimes. There could be some crazy thing. And you're like, well, here it is, I guess. It's just always kind of been that wonder of, all right, we learned about all these giant wars and things. What kind of crazy crap are we going to see in our lifetime? And I mean, there's been stuff like Ebola, I guess, but that kind of died immediately. Mad cow disease. Alright, we don't have a bow, so we can't go forward with the eye switches. So we gotta do this crazy jump, which is always fun as adult Link. Will I get it on the first try? Place your bets now. Because it's been a while. Yeah! I can't even remember the last time I played this dungeon as Kid Link. It's so tedious anymore. The carbon copy of Lizalfos fights Lizalfos, however you say it. But yeah, it's good to just step away from everything trending in the world and just play a game. Maybe it's irresponsible, but like I said, you can't be focused on that 24-7. You'll lose your mind if you even have one left. Noise, man. I hope they bring that noise back in every Zelda game. That! Who does sound effects in games? Is it the music, guys? Seven tokens. 
I don't know, sound effects, they please me, man. Like the Lord of the Rings appendices. I remember learning about, they had a whole thing on the sound effects team, how they created some of the sounds in that movie, that trilogy. That stuff fascinates me. And Grant Kirkhope, actually, him and, uh, I think it was him. Maybe somebody else from Rare, too. They had a little behind-the-scenes thing of how... Oh, it was Robin Beanland, yeah. That iconic noise from GoldenEye 007. That sounds like a satellite ping with Echo. They did a little Twitter video on how that was made. Oh, yeah, did you see that bank shot? That's awesome. I wasn't sure if I timed it right. Yeah, I like little knobs and sound things. Eight tokens, all right. So far, we're doing okay. Got that one extra. I only planned for seven at this point. But basically, by the end of our Death Mountain rounds, we'll have ten to check in with the, the kid in the house. You ever listen to this track with nothing else? It's really creepy. I think it's creepier than the Shadow Temple music. Especially if you have really bassy speakers. Love this, too, that they sped up the blocks. Can we get there before the bats? Nope. Get out of here. That's what I say to you. And there we go. We're done. Now, King Dodongo, there's a little bit of overkill here. I didn't expect to have full bombs. Because this is kind of one of those things you have to think about. What if I had no bombs at this point? Well, that's why I put a bomb bag here. Because remember, I don't have a strength upgrade, so the bomb flowers down here, if I had no bombs, there was no way to defeat this boss, because I can't pick up the flowers. Plus, that bomb bag is impossible to get to without already having bombs. So I'm pretty sure there's no way to get that earlier or whatever, you know? That might be a thing. If there's a way to share the seed with you guys and you could go to the website and just type in the seed number and get it. Although after watching this video, it's like, what's the point? Although this seed, the layout, I think would really irritate people if they didn't know where stuff was. Because towards the end, it gets a little obscure. Oh yeah, we beat King Dodongo. <laughs> Don't even pay attention to it anymore. And bye bye, buddy. And now, an important trend here. Deku Stick Capacity Upgrade. Uses of a sword as a kid. This already makes me think I could edit this differently in the future. And also, we need all medallions for the Rainbow Bridge. There's the Shadow Medallion, because why not? Shadow Temple, I'm telling you right now, is omitted, because... Uh, of the adult dungeons... The Shadow Temple... Well, actually, no, Fire Temple's my least favorite, but actually, that's, that's where we're headed next! Because what are we closest to? The Fire Temple! But there's a really cool thing. I'm really proud of what I did here. Get ready. The fire temple's gonna be fun for the first time ever. Nah, I get it. It's all right. Shadow temple actually used to be my favorite. I remember going on and on as a kid about how awesome the shadow temple was. But spirit and forest is where it's at. Shadow's all right, though. It's just you gotta take it in snippets. Money for me! Because we are approaching another shop. I believe I put more rupees somewhere, too, so... We shouldn't run into that issue again, hopefully. Nothing costs over 400 rupees, right? Uh... Wait, no, actually, before that, Link the Goron. Oh, no! If I had thrown that, man! Oh, come on! This guy always gives me a headache. 
Man, could you imagine if I threw the bomb instead of plopping it like a dope on that bridge? If that would have worked, that would have been awesome. But I suck. Yes, I will. Really I like Goron City's music. Oh, come on, that hit him. Like I told you. Don't come here for the Ocarina of Time skill. Actually, I see that comment more often lately is, I came for the Zelda randomizers and stayed for the commentary. There we go. Which, yeah, I really appreciate that, that you guys actually enjoy this stuff. Sometimes, I don't know, my tangents are a little bit nuts sometimes. There's the hammer instead of the tuna, because why not? I did that in the last plando I created. This is only my second plandomizer for Ocarina of Time, because it's a pain in the neck to set up. That said, though... I kind of have an idea of how to make it work better. Um... I spent four hours plotting this and trying to get it to work, and I generated the thing, and it generates a text file known as a JSON. And then you have to take that file, go to a different page that's called the generator, plug that in, and then just hope it generates, and the first time, it did not. And all of the things I clicked on the planomizer were reset. What did I put here? This is where we get more money, right? Yes. Ah uh, yes, a heart container, because we need that for extra time in heat and underwater. What the heck? How did I destroy the one behind me? Yes, and another one for insurance. I don't know how much time that actually is. We'll see in a moment. We're going to the crater. But the big thing that we need that for is underwater, because as we've all discovered many randomizers ago, you don't need the tunics in this game at all if you have enough hearts. Because there's barely any heated rooms in the fire temple. And the water temple, I think the longest you may have to be underwater is a minute, maybe slightly more than a minute, depending on how you move. That's number nine, okay. And now all that's left is the shop. So what would the Goron shop sell that would be super convenient right now? The bracelet, of course, but how much? Ah, huh, only 70. That's not so bad. Whoops. So now we could pull the statue and go straight to the crater. No climbing all the way back up this place. Although that's an option too. You could force the player to go to the forest now and go check the grottos in there. Think about placing the bow somewhere soon, so then you could go to the forest temple first. That's, like I said, that's the fun part, is thinking of how this game works and routing it in your head and making it work. And so hopefully, uh, 40 seconds, okay, that's good to know. 40 seconds underwater, there's one room specifically in the water temple that that could be a problem. I'd rather have like 56 seconds. Sing a song, sing a song. Yeah, this is nice too. All the great fairies having Zelda's lullaby, we could just check in. Oh, that's right. That's a weird... coloration, but we, there's double defense, and I'm sure you know why we have that. It's not necessary, but it'll definitely help for the master of the fire temple. Because, yeah, we're really not going to get too many hearts for the rest of this. And now Sheik in the crater, what would be convenient for her, him, to give the tunic, of course, since the heart situation is a problem, actually. I think it was my very first randomizer of this game. I didn't have the tunic, and I took on... I beat the forest... or the fire temple. But I think I did die, and the fairy revived me, and I learned there that even if the timer goes out... A fairy revival resets the timer in full. So as long as you have a bottled fairy... You still don't need the tunic for this dungeon. Oh yeah, they removed the key lock. Okay. So yeah. The fire temple is going to be very abridged. I think I've moaned and groaned about this place a bit too much, but it is my least favorite. 
in terms of replay value. So wait until you see how I remedy that situation. Okay. I wasn't sure about the small keys, though. That was another thing. When creating a plandomizer, it's very important to remember exactly how many small keys are in each dungeon. I mean, that's one way to pull that off. So yeah, a small key here just in case, because I couldn't remember. I could have sworn there was a locked door down here. Actually, I think behind that totem I smashed, but they remove it in the randomizer for some reason, on the off chance. That's right, I do remember that being a thing. Well, yeah, these basement rooms are fire temple enough. You get the gist of it. So, here's a little quiz for you while you wait for the next couple seconds. Um, knowing that I just want to get to the boss and be out of this place, what item besides the boss key do I still need to get to the boss door as soon as possible? Without any kind of crazy glitches. Like, there might be a way to actually bomb jump to the boss door, but I don't know. But yeah, the boss key is in its vanilla location, but this is what I need to get there quickly without going all the way up and smacking the pillar. The hover boots! If that's what you said, you answered correctly. It's not a bad place, really. It's just, like I said, when you do it a hundred times over. Breathe the free air once again, my friend. However free it is these days. All right, shut up. We're not going there. I remember somebody left a comment one time on one of these randomizer videos. So like, I'm gonna have to unsubscribe because I thought this channel was more than playing Ocarina of Time for the umpteenth time. And my reply to you is, yeah, so did I. <laughs> nah, it's alright though. That was the intent originally, but you know, you gotta give people what they want. Oh, for crying out loud, who told you to climb that? Alright. There it is. <laughs> How's it taste, Fire Temple? I'm done with you. Let's finish it up. I'll take this little brief Fire Temple snippet over the entire Shadow Temple, and that's why I did it. Therein lies the logic, son. Now, let me be very careful not to get hit by the Fire Breath here, though, because I don't know about with double defense, but that would probably be a one-hit kill with the amount of parts that I have right now. I don't have the bow either, I'm so used to doing... little one and two shots. Now this, I know I've always asked this before, but what is stronger in that instance? A jump slash with the sword? Or a jump slash with the hammer? I think one of you answered that, but I forget. Oh wow, I had no idea this guy came down that low so you could swing your sword. I'm so used to just using the bow for that phase. It's crazy how you could play a game 900 times and still learn something. Alright, let's just go hang off on the ledge. But yeah, hopefully you guys are doing all right and not getting too bogged down with everything going on in the world, because it's nuts. Yeah, what I'm thinking about now is... It's possible to create this same plan, though, the idea of going back to the past... ...and collecting only three Triforce pieces and locking them behind the bosses of the child dungeons. But for brevity's sake, I did not do that. I also thought that was going to be the end of the fight. I guess I'm used to having the big Oron sword or something? I 
I almost played Majora's Mask again, but I figured, nah, I've done too much of that. And there's times I prefer this game, but overall, I'm, I definitely like Majora's Mask more. Oh, wow. I thought he was done. There we go. Now, remember I said every boss item is, for the most part, going to be a very important child item? We got sticks. What else would we need as Child Link? A bunch of things, really. But... Ah, lemonade is good. <clears throat> no, it's not. Whoa, lemonades. Don't pause the game. What are we doing? The lemonade killed me. Man, there's the slingshot. Lemonade is not supposed to burn. Jeez. Oh, well. That happened just now. So, where are we here? That was the fire medallion. Yes. We started with the spirit medallion. We need all medallions for the bridge. Force medallion unlocks something, but it wouldn't matter anyway because we don't have access beyond the door of time where you would get that item. The only other thing that would matter is forest fire and water, which unlocks Sheik and Kakariko. So let's just carry on, my wayward son. And get the grotto and the wall item. And the fairy atop the mountain. Big Goron. I think my first instance I included him, I did a whole eye drops thing, but I think I left it out this time, because stuff wasn't working. Like I said, it was a pain to get this to work. That's my advice to you. If you want to create a plantomizer of this, keep two tabs open. Whoa. It took a while to grab that. Also, why is he not going diagonal? You can climb diagonally in this game, right? I'm telling you, man. I think my favorite GameCube controller is starting to get a little weird on me. Gotta go to the Nintendo vaults and get a brand new, unused, original GameCube controller. Well, actually, no, the original one's all crapped out. I remember the GameCube controllers, they all kind of started to go nuts until the Platinum one came out. Like the second or third batch of GameCubes, then it got good. There we go, number 10. So we're ready for the kid. Nothing too major there, but it'll help. But again, I don't want to say stuff like that and spoil it. I just hope that it is interesting, even though... You're not getting a surprised reaction from me or something. Not that I go nuts with reactions anyway. I actually don't remember what this is, to be honest with you. Let us be surprised together! Probably not going to be anything major, though. Oh, yes. More time underwater. That's We're going to need that very soon. That's the thing, too. Some people might say, why didn't you leave the water temple out if you're going to skip a dungeon? Well, I'm one of the weird people who actually likes the water temple. And Great Bay, my gosh. I really like Great Bay Temple. And it's not just to be different, I just genuinely like them. Uh, the Deku Nuts that we saw, let's go grab those. Because we're done here. The cows don't have anything this time around. Well, yeah, Ocarina of Time Randomizer.com or whatever it is, the official thing. Deku nut capacity, yeah! That'll help where we're going. So I'm gonna check in with the spiders. But yeah, if you go to that website, there's multiple tabs built into the website. There's the generator, which is what you go to to build a randomized seed. And then there's a plandomizer tab. Now, do not make the same mistake I made the first time, where you do everything on the plandomizer tab, it takes four hours, and then you click generator, because as soon as you do that in the same tab, Everything you just did in the Plantomizer is gone. So if that file that you saved, the JSON file that the Plantomizer creates, doesn't work with the Generator tab, you're screwed and you have to spend those four hours again doing all the individual clicks. So that's why I say keep two tabs open. 
There's your Pono song. So, you would think, what does that mean? Well, we could jump the bridge in Gerudo Valley, but that's actually not what we're doing. We could get to the lake faster, but that's also not what we're doing. So see, there you go. Already, different options to build a different my seed. Going back to the black tunic, too, because... Yeah. I like this light effect of the sunset. That was huge back in 98. Back in 98. So many things happened that year. This game, the Chicago Bulls final championship. Oh yeah, the ocarina sounds like a harp, because that's amazing. I'm still waiting to play a Sheik or Ganondorf or something. That's what this game needs, is character models. Maybe they exist. Actually, I think they do. I saw just the thumbnail of somebody's video, since people do crazy, like, multi-world, multiplayer randomizers. I have no idea how any of that works. But I've seen Luigi running around. Looked weird, though, being as tall as Link. Yeah, we're heading to the forest next. I still want to play as the Skull Kid in Majora's Mask, too. If only I knew how to build stuff like that. I studied a little bit of game design, but then... a lot of stuff happened and... I had to leave. Not that I was doing bad in school, it was just other stuff interrupting school. And then I changed gears altogether, but let's go check out Mido's house, he's got a lot of good stuff. One big thing, let's get that first. And again, this is just insurance here. The Tycoon's wallet, which the randomizer people put there, so you can have 999 rupees. The last Deku Nut capacity. And then this should be, yeah, the last of the sticks. So that's a lot of sword uses as Kid Link if we needed it. And money just for insurance, because we need to stop by the shop, and like I told you, there's no way of knowing what you're going to pay. Got some bomb shoes, that's not what I put here, but this song, 55 rupees. Alright, now it's suddenly being cheap. Well, I was expecting to do more, so why don't we get these bomb shoes if it lets me? Sure. I did place bomb shoes somewhere, and I wasn't expecting them to get here, but yeah, well, whatever, it works. That was not English. Wasn't expecting them to get here. Whatever. Yeah, it did just get them to me, okay. I built this under the no logic preset. Because I figured that was the best chance of getting it to work. But yeah, it still took 13 edits of that JSON file once I figured out to keep two tabs open before it finally worked. I mean, it did work a couple times. It finished generating, but then it was wrong. I don't know. I'm telling you, it's a headache. That grotto, too. I could have thought about putting something there. But here we go, let's just make our way to the forest temple. And we're- that's not a bridge at all, because it's one of the best temples in this game. I think it's a lot of people's favorite. I still like Spirit a little bit better, though. That's a grotto too, isn't it? Or is that just five rupees? No, that's the grotto, yeah. And now, Fast Scarecrow's song is a feature, so... Yes, indeed. That's awesome, you don't even need to learn the song. All this stuff that's great for replay value! Control sticks, though, are an issue. Well, I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> I always laugh at their noise. It's the perfect noise to make after getting stabbed in the butt. So, no, it's gonna happen, isn't it? Yep. Gotta sit here and wait, but that's fine. Treading water like this is actually really tiring. I don't think it's supposed to be, but it is. They say that's what you're supposed to do to avoid drowning, but then you get all tired and worn out, and then you start to drown. For as much as I love water, I'm not very aquatic. 
Part of me still wishes we could live underwater, though, as an like a second option. There's the serenade of water, speaking of, but that's for later. So there's your clue. I did that too. Whoa! That's normal, that happens all the time. Yeah, quit your moaning. Now, keys. This dungeon has five, I believe I counted. Five or six? No, five. Six keys for the water temple, five for spirit temple. There's nowhere on the internet that you can conveniently type that in, how many keys in Forest Temple, and get a straight answer. <laughs> I had so much trouble. I had to watch walkthroughs of the temples just to count the locks on the door. And I had to like rewind the video a million times and be like, wait, okay, was that right? Or was that two keys? I don't know. Because what happens is you don't have to place every item. You could leave some blanks, and then the generator will fill in the blanks for you. It's smart enough to know what's still needed. Yeah, because I couldn't imagine how long it would take to have to check something for every item in this game, every location. Like, thank God the thing can auto-populate it with junk items like one rupee, a stick. A bundle of arrows, all that stuff, you know? But yeah, I just wanted to make extra sure about the keys, because keep in mind, I don't have the Song of Time. So that Song of Time block, we can't go outside. So what are we going to do about that? Come on, Z-Target. Jeez. Remember the early footage of Ocarina of Time Beta? fighting these guys. It's amazing how low texture it was. Yet at the same time, some little tiny snippets of it looked better. I don't know, I would have to look at it again. Yeah. So, we can't go outside. Or can we? That's pretty much a dead giveaway what this is. Yes, the ball. Because, I mean, we're starting to get to that point where there's not too much more we could do as Adult Link without the ball. This temple, the water temple, requires it. Although, actually... Huh. The brain things are firing. So, yeah, we could go there, but that is actually the wrong side, so I'm going to go forward instead. Um... Because if you think about the outside, shooting that eye switch and going out that way does not put us to the vine side where you go get the map and then train the well. And I don't have a scale and I don't have iron boots, so I couldn't go down the well. But I have hover boots. I actually did not think about this. I thought about it later, after I generated the seed and I went to bed thinking about, okay, is it gonna work? Oh yeah, Navi's muted, by the way, which is amazing. Just like speeding up these blocks. Yeah, I was in bed and I was like, wait a minute! The well is there gonna be a problem! And then I thought, ah, but I have hover boots. So a nice little byproduct of my mistake actually turns out to be an even cooler way of going through this temple. Yeah, like I said, that's that's one of the coolest things about the Plandomizers, is just... the unlimited replay value. There's so many different things. We all know how Ocarina of Time goes. We know the... the flow of things, item progression. And randomizers are fun. It's nice to be surprised. But what if you had full control? And that's basically what this is. Like, what? where would you place the items if you were given the map and a bunch of blank chests and told, put whatever you want here, but just make sure the game is beatable? What would you do? And man, if that doesn't get you all excited in your pants or wherever you may get excited, then I guess you don't have weird issues like me. <laughs> I don't know, but hover boots, man, and the D-pad. Oh, I love them. I love them for the D-pad. Thank you, D-pad. Ah! 
Yeah, that jump is so fun every time. And now we are in the appropriate side of the outdoors that would require the Song of Time. But man, and actually thinking about that too, the Floor Master chest. I put a bunch of crap in there because I didn't want to come here. I didn't want to flip stuff. And actually, speaking of crap items, this guy should be a recovery heart. Yes, indeed. All right. One of these wise guys. Let's get him, boss. Who says that? I think it's from Time Splitters. Yeah. I think the well item is important, but I can't remember, to be honest. I don't remember what the map chest is either. But we shall see soon enough. Eh, yeah, quit your chuckling. You ever stop to think how creepy these enemies would be if they just popped out of nowhere in real life? A bubble coming at you going bah, bah, bah. You're like, geez. Take a Xanax and sit down. Oh, it's the map. That's exciting. That's an issue with the Plantomizer too. Even if you choose the option to start with or remove the compasses and the map, you still have to place them somewhere in the Plantomizer, otherwise it freaks out and it's like, I don't know what to do. I remember that being an issue the first time. But there we go. Flush in the well. It's fun to not flush the well, though, and use that little trick to get the chest anyway. Also, that's big. Why is that big? What's there? I don't remember. I think both of these are junk items. But then why is this big? Oh, that's why it's big. <laughs> and then this is a recovery heart to remedy the stupidity, right? Yeah, see? So there's some stuff... I couldn't remember because it labels these locations as outside west and outside east. And I'm like, well, which one's which? I can't remember. East in terms of which way are you facing. I guess east is always east, but... That's hard to wrap my brain around. I always think left or right, and then left or right based on which way you're looking at the thing. Which then, right is left and left is right. Oh yeah, there's the silver scale. Nice aquatic thing in an aquatic place. Can't remember if we actually need it, though. You start to run out of good stuff to place. But yeah, I have a video showing me making one of these, but for Super Metroid, not this game. And believe me, it's... Get out of here. That's right, you see that quick shield? I know how to press R like the best of them. I guess. Um... Yeah, Super Metroid gives you the entire game's map as an interface, so it's way more exciting. Whereas, as if I were to make a video of creating a plandomizer for this, it would be super boring. It's just looking at a web page and clicking on drop-down menus. Which I guess in a way is like the Super Metroid one, but it's cool because it has the map interface and it's got the golden statue guy there. But, uh, where was I going with that? I don't know, just the fact that I have that video of making them, so you have an idea what it is. Don't know. But, yeah, some of this is abridged. For example, oh, we're not there yet. Normally, we'd have to shoot the eye switch, flip it, get the boss key, go fight the floor master, which we would just buy. But I say, we don't need any of that stuff. We have three keys. Let's just go. It's interesting playing this without Navi. I think the last time I made her bark. And we have the bow, so let's do it. What did I say? Five keys? So we had three, there's two more keys. No, there's one more key. We had a key and we expunged it. That's not the right word. I don't know, do you guys memorize that stuff? Like, if I sat here and told you how many keys are in the Shadow Temple right now without looking up anything, would you know the answer?
I actually don't know the answer to that. How many keys are in the Shadow Temple? I would have to watch a walkthrough and count the locks again. Oh yeah. More time for underwater. I think that's about the last heart we're gonna get. But I can't remember. So what else is going on since I was saying most of what I do is tangents. I'm craving Chinese food. Sesame chicken man and fried rice. Pork fried rice. Very good stuff. Mexican food is very good too. I usually get three enchiladas and a partridge in a pear tree. No. Infinite chips and salsa. The good salsa that they give you at Mexican restaurants. It's all liquidy and not chunky. I know I've talked about that before, but it's worth saying again because it's good. A small key to get you through the day because we need two more. And then... that's the wrong way. That floor master chest, I can't tell you how many times that's posed the problem. Oh, put your chuckling. So many times replaying this game, I've gotten to the top and threw the door up top here, but then I was missing one small key and it's like, oh yeah, I didn't go to the floor master room. And you gotta go all the way back. I gotta say though, going back to those protests real quick, some of those chants were actually kind of catchy. I saw a whole group of people singing Lean On Me by Bill Withers, and that was awesome. I mean, it's sad the reason why everybody's gathering. I mean... Oh yeah, that's normal. Why was it in a small chest? It's not sad why people are gathering. They're gathering for a good cause, and I fully support it. But it's sad that they have to. Provoked it, I mean. But yeah, this is the door that I always never have the key for. Let's just hover boot our way over. That D-pad, man. Oh, doesn't it tickle your fancy? Whatever that means. Imagine if somebody came up to you and was just like, please, if you would, tickle my fancy. <laughs> what the heck would you do? I'd probably run. Like, get away from me, pervert. I ain't tickling crap. Oh, control stick! Not like there was a guy with drums. They got some marching band dude going with his drum and then everybody's shouting their chants. I don't know. Anyway, I said I wasn't gonna talk about that stuff because it's sensitive. Oh, he didn't do it. His oit z noise. There's something down here too. I can't remember what I put. Surprise. At one point I said bottle with a green potion. But I don't think it's that anymore. Yeah, three chicken enchiladas, maybe one beef. You gotta mix it up a little bit. Ah, a fairy in a bottle. Is it actually a bottle though? Yes. Well, that's good. That's insurance for underwater, maybe? Ah, yes, Amy, what you want to do? I think I can stay with you for a while. Maybe longer if I do. Uh, how do we do this? I'm already screwing it up. There's a way to do this without even touching the blue block, and I always mess it up. But they sped up the block pushing, so yeah, this is a joke. Yeah, I weigh blue block. Imagine if real life was N64 angles. I'd be a pro. Nah, no, I don't know. 
quiet. That's not good. You gotta not be quiet. What's there to talk about? Um. I don't know. Oh, we don't have the boss key yet. That's coming up. I placed it where it should be. I think you know where that is, because there's really only one chest left to get. Who's your favorite boss in this game? I actually do like Phantom Ganon a little bit. Oh, speaking of that too... I don't know how to plandomize this and account for... Entrance randomization, because there's no way to plando that yet. I looked on all the different things in the plandomizer feature, and there was no way to edit the entrances. Like, I'm sure you could build a plandomizer, and then go to the generator and say randomize dungeon entrances. But it'll completely mess up what you placed where, because there's no way to say what exactly it is. Like, I want full control to say the forest temple entrance is the bottom of the well or something, you know? But they do not have that feature yet. Because that's what I really wanted to do next, is an entrance randomizer. And I wanted to do it with the Plando thing. It, it would just be neat to be Child Link in some of the adult dungeons, and vice versa. But, uh... Yeah, like I said, it just doesn't really work well. It's possible, but it'll mess things up, I think. That's one thing to be said about this game over Majora's Mask. The bosses are better. Like, way better. Well, there's just something about Majora's Mask. The Bomber's Notebook was always my big thing. And just the gameplay that the transformation masks give you. It's just so much fun. So I always look at it like the two games. Like, this is the one for the traditional lots of bosses and the good Ganondorf business. And the one where you play as Adult Link, and then Majora's Mask has everything else. It's really just whatever you're in the mood for. But there we go, the boss key. Did I? No, see, you know what would have been smart there? Instead of a token, give that guy a bundle of arrows to give you max arrows for this fight. I wasn't thinking. That's another thing, too. All the things that you can edit. I'll tell you, I did place Baronade in Jabu Jabu's belly. Your reward for defeating him is something very important. But there's actually no need to go to any of the child dungeons. So it's not actually important, it's just... It would be under normal circumstances. All right. I always found this guy tougher than the real Ganondorf. I know I've said that before, but when you play a game for like the thirteenth time in a row, commentary is going to be similar, I think. Wait, really? Did they delete one of the horses? I still want a Ganondorf game, though, where you ride his horse and, uh, Wait, that's not real. He's darker. There is another horse, right? Yeah, where are you? Okay, we're good. Nope. Yeah, see, this isn't a reason, too. He's all wiggly and stuff. You can never get a good line up with him. Oh, there we go. I always kept my distance very far. That's usually the best way to get a volley going. But that one just now worked. Oh, here we go. Let's just go the way I know. Oh, well played, sir. Well, see, the one time I was right up next to him and I went flying in his face. And now it's not working. 
Okay, here we go. Redeem myself. That's another reason it speeds up automatically in this fight. Where in the real fight, it doesn't unless you spin attack. There we go. And even then, it only goes that speed forever. It doesn't... Like, the velocity never changes. Oh yeah, your side B Smash Bros move that never existed. Okay. Whatever, I'll take it. It was a terrible fight, but, you know. Now, remember outside of here we got the Serenade of Water, and this dude conveniently drops the iron boots. And in case you still were somebody playing this and not sure what to do next, the medallion we get is the water medallion. So yeah, we know where we're going straight away. None of this overworld stuff, just straight to the next dungeon. Hey. Yeah. Nah, there wasn't anything I plotted. I love the serenade of water, man. Has anybody actually covered that? in any kind of long duration, longer than the song actually is, because it's amazing. But anyway, let's go give the Water Temple some due respect. You can't breathe underwater if you start talking and take off those boots. Shut up, Navi. That is Navi saying it, right? It could be Link's own brain. 48 seconds, missing a heart. How much time does one heart give? I don't actually know. I guess it depends on how you treat it. That was dumb. Your game has been solved. Like the old Pink Panther movies with uh, Peter Sellers. Those are great. But here's the trick. You can only do it with this little D-pad feature, I think. On and off, you reset the timer over and over again. I don't think you could do that in the vanilla game. Yeah, wow, even before it gets all the way up to the left, you can reset it. At some point, you can't, though. It only gives you like a limited number of resets. But I couldn't tell you in the vanilla game, without that D-pad on and off feature, how many seconds on the clock you need to beat this without dying. I think, once again, the fairy should reset the clock if you do die. But even still... Okay! So, Water Temple wants an item that you really want in here, besides the tunic, because we're not getting it. of course. But yeah, the past couple seeds I've played of this, I've been able to beat the Water Temple. What the heck? Uh, C-Stick problems, that's what that is. I know people say use Y and X like Wind Waker, but it just doesn't feel right with this. I see it, and I think N64. And I know there's those random controllers that people praise. Wait, can I get this? I always try and I always fail. And I failed again. <laughs> that link noise me. Ow. But yeah, what I was saying is, the past couple times playing this temple, it's kind of been a bridge because I've been able to just stick to this main area, get everything I need, and go straight to the boss. But this time, I put something over by Dark Link. And I figure we might as well. I gotta redeem myself in that fight anyway. Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, my very first randomizer of this game ever. I think it's like part seven. I did this temple. It's the one with the Dark Link thumbnail. And so many comments on that video were saying how bad I was at fighting Dark Link. And to use the hammer. All right. So yeah, I plan to redeem myself, hopefully. And let's do the classic Furore's Wind spot of this temple. I always love this spell, it looks so cool. It's one of those items you always forget about, but then once you learn where and when to use it, it's amazing.
So we have one small key. We know this temple has six. And you gotta time them appropriately, of course. You can't put like all six at the end, you wouldn't be able to get there. But the cool thing with token sanity on, applying to every single Skulltula, not just the dungeon ones. That was the only way I could get this to work, by the way. I tried dungeons only and it kept failing. So then I had to change it to token sanity all dungeon and overworld. And then it was finally able to generate it. I could go in depth with that, but it's boring, so I won't. Wait, hopefully I can hit the... You can hit this with the Master Sword, right? I think you might need magic, though. Yeah, okay. I think without magic, you wouldn't be able to... get the spin long enough to hit that. And I don't know if a bomb explosion would make it. But yeah, that sculpture I purposely... Every single location of this dungeon, I manually placed. I actually did that for every dungeon that we're gonna see here. And so I made sure that that Skulltula token was a key. 56 seconds. Isn't that what I said exactly? Because I think that was the case one time. But yeah, truth be told, even in this seed, there's no reason to really go all the way to Dark Link. What you get there is not required. But I want to, so we will. This, I believe, as well. This is the dragon chest. Oh no, you know what this is? Get ready for this. Because a couple randomized thurs ago. Oh, why? I don't know. I discovered a really cool thing about this temple and uh, the item we're about to get. It's a really basic thing that I can't believe I never really figured out. But. How do you train yourself to hold your breath longer? Is it just long exercises? I feel like I can't hold my breath worth a crap anymore these days. But uh, we need Furore's Wind. Because now's the time to use it if you come all the way here. This is the first instance. But the long shot, because now it's going to be fun. So we're going to ca cast this again for when we raise at the next level, which we're about to do. But the long shot in the main area of this temple, there's a torch. Everybody knows the torch. It's the torch you come out of after raising the level once. And you can reach that from the sand. And for some reason, I never knew that, and it made a world of a difference. Where is it, anyway? Not on this side. Whatever, let's just use the key. I made sure this was right. So wasting this key doesn't matter. And now that we have the long shot, speaking of keys and reaching things. And Skulltulas. This guy is fun to make a small key. That's a nice insurance policy. I think you can place more keys than required, it's just... It's more fun to have the exact count, because it makes it feel like you did something right instead of just guessing. But I don't know, that's just me. But here's the scariest room of the Water Temple. I took damage too, didn't I? Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Save just in case. Because I don't really know if the fairy applies underwater the same way it does with the heat timer. I would assume. So reset the timer as much as possible, because 56 seconds is like... That's really pushing it. Alright. Yeah, there's no way we can reset the timer once it starts going. Go, go. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one room of the temple that you're underwater the longest. 40 seconds to kill everybody. That should be enough as long as the rocks don't wake up more than their initial phase. Get back there. Okay, 
Okay, good. Now these guys, get them on the first try. There's a rhythm to these guys. Alright, we're good. 20 seconds. That should be fine. Just go. Whoa. Yeah, if I had one heart missing, that would really be cutting it close. So, small key. That was the insurance policy. Now, warp. The level is where we want it to be. We could get the cracked chest. The one that's so easy to miss. This, I think this is the chest that is the bane of everybody's existence in this temple. They always forget to come back for this. Which is normally a small key. I can't remember actually what I put here. It looked big. It is. What is this? Is this the tunic that I put it in here? Oh no, the minuet of forest. Why? That's a hint. That's where we're going after this temple, but why? I honestly can't remember. The mystery. Look at the timer's not even coming. Where is it? So yeah, 56 seconds is enough to beat this temple. Well, actually, we don't know that I did the boots trick. You might need a little bit more hearts. Traditionally. But now that with the long shot, we could grab this early. Which, if I really wanted to, I could have made this chest back here the boss key, skipped everything else of this dungeon, and just gone to the end. But that's happened in some of the randomizers, not the plandos. Oh. Why is... Oh, yeah, you gotta push it from the other side. Do you? Well, whatever, we gotta do that puzzle twice now. That's weird, I don't think I've ever come here with that unpushed yet. I don't know, Dana. Does anybody else actually like the water temple, or is it just me being weird? I could see how it's annoying, and I remember it being frustrating. Like the first time, especially. But I think it's one of those temples that grows on you. You learn to appreciate its design. And this was an insurance thing, right? Yeah, so now I think we have all the keys because normally in this dungeon you would get a small key in the Serpent River right after Dark Link. But we're not going there because what else do we need to get to that river? Immediately after you get the long shot after fighting Dark Link, you need to play the Song of Time and we don't have that. That is basically the final reward. Oh, I thought I was gonna get it. Actually, the compass is another small key. That's the final one. But yeah, if we were to give ourselves the Song of Time... You need that and the Ocarina of Time to open the door and go back to childhood. And since the whole goal, the whole theme of this thing is to have that be the final reward where you win, it would be really stupid to give yourself that early. And the Song of Time is really not required. Aside from that one instance, that Serpent River and Dompe. But Dompe you could always save and quit after you got his prizes. So as long as you exclude a small key and you don't have to go to that river part. Anyway, how many times are we going to say the same thing? Jeez. Ay -ay -ay. So now what? We could go down... To two keys before the carpet is what I always said in the vanilla game, but we have five keys, so everything now is optional. There it is down there. Um, but we have to actually raise the water and then go Dark Link's way. Because I want to. I want to fight that guy. It's been several seeds now until I, since I have. And I want to see this hammer business all you guys have been talking about. I don't think I've ever fought Dark Link with a hammer. I always get this fountain confused with the one in the Pirate's Grotto, or Pirate's Fortress, rather, of, uh... Machora's Mask. That's kind of neat. The fast Scarecrow song interrupting this. So... 
Now we need to cast for Roar's Wind because we need to come back here. But you see down there too, I don't think I pointed it out. It said zero out of 20 Triforce pieces. If you've never seen a Triforce hunt before. So we gotta collect 20 to beat the game. And there's way more spots than that that are child specific. So that's another thing. I just keep thinking about ways I can edit this same idea of going back to childhood as the final thing. There's so many different ways you could do it. But for brevity's sake. Oh, stop it. Nuts. Yeah, for brevity's sake, I just did some ones that I felt like doing. But yeah, you can theoretically include the entire game, not abridge anything. And just do it in reverse, where childhood is the last thing. Like the Deku Tree could be the very last thing. The trouble is, there's no way to limit what you would pick up first in the game, like the Kakiri Sword. That's always accessible as long as you're a kid. What is this? This guy's something. Nah, just... I think that was supposed to be a slingshot bag. I can't remember. Anyway. We've got the long shot. We don't have to mess around. Let's go. Back to childhood. Wouldn't it be nice? Man, I would give anything. It's kind of a disease. Uh, there was a way with the long shot. I did this once before. No, I was supposed to... The hover boots, that's right. I messed it up. You're supposed to hover boot and hook shot what's already available without even hitting that switch ever. Well, we could do it from here, but it's kind of too late. Those guys make the craziest noise when they die. Uh, again, that's the sound effect. How did they record that? Was it just some guy going like, shoo and then they just added some effects to it? That'd be interesting if it was. There's so many cool jobs out there. That's another thing I've been thinking about. I, I really want to go to school. I would go back in time just to go back to school again. Call me nuts. Yeah, I like the water temple and I like school. Kill me now, I guess. Like, I really want to study meteorology. I think that would be fun. I missed that one course I took. It was... The teacher was awesome, too. The professor. I remember it being a little bit tricky of a course, though. Even that introductory one. Introductory? Do you believe in magic? Alright, let's see. What everybody said that I sucked at this fight and to use the hammer... <laughs> let's see how we... I don't know. Is it really that easy? I love this fight, though. Get over here, I got a hammer for you. Now, what are you talking about, the hammer? What am I doing wrong? Whatever. Wait a minute. That's right, you don't Z-target. They call me a skank. That's what I always thought adult Link said. Well, he's even easy with the sword. Hold on now. Oh. Wow. Okay, now I do feel stupid. <laughs> okay, you are kidding. The hammer is a joke. How did I never think to do that before? Maybe because it swings so slow, you wouldn't think of it. Like, I've used Din's Fire, I've used Big Oron Sword. Man. But yeah, double magic. Not really necessary, but... And now this is why we had Furore's Wind, because we don't have the Song of Time, we can't go further. In that river is the map and the compass. One last time, because now we actually have to do... That was just detour for fun. We have to go two keys before the carpet. I have three keys. Why do I have three? 
Is it three keys before the carpet? What is the riddle that I always say? Which, by the way, there's not even a carpet here on the 3DS version. It's bricks. Where is the carpet? It's opposite of the torch. No, it's opposite of me. See, there we go. See how I was flipping them on and off? It's permanent now. It only gave me so many resets. I don't know what that's all about, but it's interesting. But here's the carpet. That's my little riddle so that I never screw up this dungeon. I could have sworn it was two keys before the carpet. Do you get a key back here? You open the door and then you need another door. Yeah, why do I have three keys? Did I put one extra key? What's going on here? Because you open this and then you think you're good, you solve all the puzzles, you get to the boss key, and then you're like, dang it, I'm missing a key, and then everybody freaks out and says the water temple sucks. I think there's a door I didn't open. Either that or I placed one too many. Yeah, so it's a little bit longer, I understand. These these rooms aren't really spectacular. It's really just the Darkling thing that was I wanted to do. But it's alright, we'll get there. But going back to the past for a tangent to talk about, that's kind of more what I do. I've noticed myself, and I think I commented this on somebody's some video recently. I kind of look at the past a little bit too fondly. And I miss it a lot. I can think of so many good things that happened that I would do anything to go back to. Even just being as healthy as I was as a kid, that feels like it's almost impossible to get back. Oh, really? I thought the shield blocked it. But it seems like the further and further away from all of those great memories of the past I get, the more their happiness turns into like a trauma for me. Because the pain that it brings with how it's forever gone now, and those people are gone, is something that gets worse and worse as the years go on. And that's why I kind of refer to it as a sickness. Uh, why not? Let's see if I can do this. Okay. There it is. Because I think most people move on without a problem, it seems. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was going to make that. Well, yeah, I have a really hard time letting go of stuff, apparently. To the point that it does what I said, where it's like, yeah. They always say, what's that saying? Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. It's like, okay, that's good in theory, but easier said than done. There's just so many things in life that even if you got a chance to go back to where one of the greatest things in your life ever happened and around the same people that were involved in that same great time of your life, even if you all got together again and went back to that same spot, it wouldn't be the same. And that... It's kind of what I'm getting at. It's kind of like PTSD in a way. It always reminds me of that scene from Lord of the Rings at the very end when they finally return to the Shire and they go to the bar just like they would normally if nothing had ever happened. But they're just quiet and sullen the whole time. Just all four of them at the same time realizing that it's not the same. Much like how people returning from war probably feel but it's so screwed up that just normal memories have that same kind of feeling. Wait a minute. 
I should have kept going. I messed it up. No, it's always you look at the second one, and as soon as it bounces off the right wall, you go. Hang on. I'm being dumb. Yeah, this should work. I, th I hope. Yeah, okay. I just got scared for no reason. All right, more for quick kill. Let's do it. And not screw that up, hopefully. I can never seem to grab them immediately like some people do. I think it's you don't see target. Okay, get to the corner. Get him in the corner. Go nuts! Yeah! Ah, oh, feels good every time. What a stupid boss. Under normal circumstances, I don't like this guy, but that's a fun quick kill to do. Kind of terrifying, though. Like, if something like this existed in real life, they would creep me out. I give this guy? It's something Child Link related, we know that much. Is it? Oh yeah, the letter in a bottle, but I believe... What does that really open that Adult Link cannot get himself? Because there is an option now. Zora's Fountain, you can either leave vanilla... You can have it open at all times where the letter is not required at all, and I think it's even removed from the game. There's the Force Medallion, so there you go. We're missing one. And then the other new option for Zora's Fountain is to have it open for Adult Link only. Which is very nice for something like this. Where I could go there without having to do the letter business first. And now I thought this was clever too. Shoot the morning sun. Normally you would get the fire arrows. But instead we get blue fire in a bottle. Hopefully it's a bottle. And where's the only spot in this game, speaking of, that you use that? And that's why we got the Minuetta Forest? Oh yeah, because the quick warp to Zora's Fountain, because, yeah, okay. I understand my past self's logic now. Lake Hylia, man. I wish this was a real spot. There's a lot of video game spots that I wish were real, but this is definitely up there on the list. Uh, let's do it. There's another fast scarecrow thing interrupting. Oh, what a shot! That's awesome. Looking out on the lake, you never see this. Especially with the song. Very nice indeed. I like that fast scarecrow song glitch thing, if that's what it is. So yeah, we gotta go quickly to... Well, it doesn't really matter how fast we go. I don't know why I said quickly. To the warp in the woods. To Zora's River we go. To Zora's Fountain. And that's what I was trying to say before. The only thing that that letter in a bottle matters if you leave the fountain open to adult length is, um... Jabu Jabu's Belly, which is a whole dungeon. So yeah, I don't know about that letter in a bottle. I don't even think it really matters. In fact, I know it doesn't matter. I have it, but it's not necessary. Even though I did say Baronade does have something important. I'm not going to spoil that till the very end. Also... Look what I see on the ledge. I believe there's no way to get that without the chicken. There might be a glitch. Probably a bomb jump. But glitchless is how I think of this. So in my mind, that's a child link only thing. But some of the other ones, the other 20 that we need to collect, I definitely made them child only spots. Like a lot of the crawl spaces and stuff. So, we need two blue fires. We only have one, so we gotta go to, go to the shop first. 
Because they sell blue fire in here, right? Let's uh, save, get it equipped and save in case it goes wrong. So I've had that happen to me before trying to thaw King Zora. It didn't work even though I was right on top of him. That's annoying when that happens. This is another place I wish was real because of the music. Well, yeah, here's the fire arrows, an offshoot way to get them. They don't have blue fire. Why? Because it's a randomizer. That's why. Nuts. I was counting on that to not go to the ice cavern. Uh, well, the first blue fire isn't too far away. That's really all I need is one scoop of blue fire. And I plan to go back here anyway, so... Ah, eh, well. One little unintended pit stop. But yeah, Ice Cavern's another one of those places. That, the bottom of the well, and the fire temple. And sometimes the shadow temple. Anytime I can avoid those... It makes for a nice bite-sized ocarina of time, I guess. Same with, I guess, most of the kid dungeons. But I do like Jabu Jabu's belly, or at least the boss. Baronade's a lot of fun. Nuts! Oh, here's the Zora tunic, that's right. That's right, because I didn't know if I could survive this. This might be the longest you're underwater in the game. And it's Majora Purple. The Goron tunic was blood red, that was the option I chose. It looks pretty much the same. And down here, I thought was kind of clever, but unnecessary. Eventually, it should be... Oh yeah, there it is. Do you see it? The ice arrows! Under icy water, I don't know, it seemed to fit. Unnecessary, of course, you don't ever have to pick those up in this game, so... But now we gotta stop by the fountain and see what the fairy has, and that's gonna be our next clue of what's next. I guess I should have timed how long this actually takes down here. But it's not necessary. So back to the past, let's go to that, and back to the black tunic, because it's my favorite of the bunch. I do like the Majora purple, though. Actually, there's a gold sculpture adult only here if you smack that rock. That's right. Hmm, that's something to consider for a future plan, though, too. I don't know, I just really like the idea, like I said, of starting as an adult being locked in crap times, much like right now in real life, and having... There it is, Requiem of Spirit. But, what good would that do without the gauntlets? Well, that's why we need that second blue fire. But yeah, the ultimate reward and quest right now to go back to better days. That's just a concept that pleases me. Like, Back to the Future, in a way, the first Back to the Future movie, in a way, was kind of more back to the past. I get why they called it that, because Marty's whole thing is to get back to 1985, which was the future, compared to where he was sent. Can you? Oh yeah, you can. I don't know, it's just... If you could go back with even just a morsel of a memory... I guess it's kind of like those things where people are like, if you could write a letter to your past self, knowing who will see it, what would you say to him? But it's all that what if, shoulda, coulda, woulda crap. But that's what I'm getting at. I don't know, I feel like it's a necessary tangent related to this theme and why I'm doing this. Why it appeals to me so much. Because that's the best way I can explain it, is every great memory I've ever had... ...over time becomes more like a small trauma. A stick. That's right, they put mostly junk here. I don't know, 
I don't know what else to compare that to. Or if I'm the only one, what the, come on. If I'm the only one who feels that way about the past. I, mean, I know a lot of people look back with rose-colored glasses, as they say. Saying childhood. Seriously? Childhood is the best time of life or whatever. Okay. <laughs> That was a little bit excessive and dumb. But we're, we're close now. Actually, you know what? Please tell me this goes way back to the entrance. And not into this room. Oh, this would be amazing if it goes all the way back. It went flying somewhere. Yes. I have high hope in you, Furore. Furore. Sounds like a dog's name. Oh, that guy every time. And this guy's probably primed and ready. Yeah, well, you know what? Yearbooks are a thing, too. Not too long ago, I went back and looked at two of my yearbooks. And I was depressed for like a week or two. Just from looking at it. Alright, here we go. Furore's win. Back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. Yes! Oh, that spell is amazing. There we go. I was hoping to get this at the shop, but that's okay. So back to the game real quick. We got the Requiem of Spirit. We're all done here. We've checked everything except for the Ice Cavern, but it's all crap. We know that because of the plan, though. King Zora has what we need. And then we're going to my favorite temple of all time. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe I do like it better than Great Bay. Although that video I made that I wish I could remake. Please work. Gotta make extra sure every time now. Yes! Can you give him the letter as an adult? I don't want to risk it. And there they are, the silver gauntlets. So we got that in the Requiem. Nice little pit stop, and now... We know where we need to go. Um, that letter is intriguing, but I don't want to risk it, like I said. There's a thing with this guy, too. In the normal game, if you hold R, is it? He'll give you the eyeball frog instead of the tunic or the prescription or something, whatever it is. And you could screw yourself out of completing the game if you do that. This is very weird. The great fairy here has what she normally has, Nehru's love. So I'm not gonna stop there. Let's just go do what we gotta do. Now the spirit temple, one of the coolest things, going back to this concept of... Well, let's get the song first. Because I'm going to want this. Nocturne of Shadow. It's not the prelude of light, but it's the next best thing to get back to the main chunk of Hyrule, as I like to think of it. The one that you go to the most. But there are two rooms in this dungeon that Adult Link cannot get to. They're the only two rooms. There is a lot of stuff that is intended for Child Link, but you can do as an adult. And so you know what I put in those two rooms. Our objective, the Triforce pieces. But again, it's like, okay, if you put them in a dungeon, why didn't you put them in the child dungeons? But I guess really the only answer to that is the child dungeons are, are kind of crap compared to the rest of them. This place, man, the music, the atmosphere, the puzzles, the iron knuckles, such a great temple every time. And now, remember the trick? Remember when I said the game expects you to place the map in the compass whether you get them or not? This is normally the compass, but I shoved it in a sculptula place, because remember... Well, we're about to be there, so we'll talk about it. There. But we need small keys. So... Here's one. Yeah. 
This is a song I could fall asleep to on an extended loop. I might do that tonight. There's just something about it. But this is the room. Do you see what I see on the left? A song of time block. That's a problem. But we know that in its normal resting place. I don't know why it didn't. We could hover boot it. Alright, there's a way to do that without the boots. I normally do. But yeah, that block is not blocking the rupee, which is good. So the Song of Time is still not required. The only spot, like I said, that I could think where it's required, besides the door of time itself, is in the Water Temple. And also it comes in handy in the Gerudo Training Grounds, but I don't think it's required necessarily. Yes, it is. The one room, you gotta erase the blocks to go underwater. But again, if you're talking a plandomizer, then all you have to do is put junk in those locations. And once again, I can't emphasize how much I love that. Having total control of the logic. So whereas, if you want to make absolutely sure the Song of Time is your final reward of the game, there's ways to make that happen and still basically play the whole game. Other items, however, not so much. What is that? Why is it big? Is that an ice trap? Get off of me! Alright, what is this guy's pattern? That's right, you don't want a shield though, you want to make him lunge and then he turns not green. Crap, I'm doing it. Well, whatever. Good enough. Just get to the sun. That's big too. They're both ice traps or something, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. The ghost rotation of the mirror. I don't know, though. I'm kind of curious. Because I can't remember, honestly. Bomb shoes? Wait, that's supposed to be in a different room. I think. Okay, that one. It's hard to remember everything you placed sometimes when it's minor crap like that. But okay, the main room. We need an item for this place. And if you've watched any of my past randomizers of this game, I always go on this whole thing about... how fun this dungeon is as a, doing it all as Adult Link in like reverse order, going through the child side backwards. That's how I always describe it. So here's the mirror shield. I think that would be a good place for the mirror shield to actually be, right in front of this statue. Although the map makes sense too, normally. But yeah. Red and black. Looks cool. But there is one child room that we could do right now before going through it backwards. And that's this one, the bomb chew room. This is where the crawl space leads to as Child Link. But it's unnecessary. It's like the one small key you never have to actually waste because you don't need to open that locked door down there since you can come here as an adult. But it only works in these randomizers, of course. Get out of here. Whatever. It's like not letting me Z-target him. What was the first Zelda game where they introduced that? Where there was a way to swap what you're targeting without letting go of the button? Is it this game? That's right. I don't think I put anything in the 20 Sculptural Reward spot. I thought about it, but... It gets boring if every chest is a token. That's right, that's a small key for insurance, and this should be bomb shoes. It is. So why was there bomb shoes in the other place? I don't... I don't remember putting them there, whatever. So, adult side first, go through child side backwards. But there's other stuff to do in this room first. 
fast scarecrow song. Very nice. Although I should have gone to the other side and played the song first. Eh, nuts. Whatever. Why am I even doing this? I know this is junk. Yeah, the map. I just like to do that. The spiders that are out of your way, make them have the crap items. And you just don't have to worry about it. But then here I go doing it anyway. <laughs> Okay, so tangents. Um, the trauma thing. I never finished that going back to the past. Yearbooks, yes. The idea of a yearbook seems good to look back on old memories. But yeah, the last time I did it, it really knocked me out. Like, I wasn't even getting out of bed. I was so upset about it. Depressed, I guess. It's like each new face that I saw, well, old face that I saw in that yearbook. It just took me back to all those times. And for some reason, I can't get over the fact that they're gone. Those days are over. I can't move on in a way. In a very sad way, I guess, because it's kind of pathetic. But I relate it to probably how people feel after a very close loved one passes away. Because that's loss, is what it is. We're talking about dealing with loss. And I know there's counselors and stuff that specialize in specifically that. And in a way, that's kind of what I'm struggling with is loss, but not of a person. But it kind of a lot of people that I know I'm never going to see again that... I grew up, like, the first 16 years of my life, first 18 years of my life, really, seeing those same people every year. Just so many memories with them, and always kind of naively assuming that they would be there forever, you know? Like, it's kind of a weird fantasy of mine to live in a subdivision or an apartment complex with all those same people, and just live every year of our lives together as neighbors or whatever. But then at the same time, I remember, this is why I wanted the mirror shield early, by the way. This is a child link item, I think. Actually, we're gonna see a lot of major items back to back. Bullet seed bag for hunting spiders. Not that there's many we have to get as a kid, but. Yeah, because remember, we're not doing the Shadow Temple, so I'm kind of forced now. We're actually almost done with this. When I really think about it, we're almost done as Adult Link. Please work. Yes, I don't know how that worked, but I'm thankful. These two invisible chests, I know that they're there, but they're junk. They're both ice traps. I do remember that. So let's get to the real heart of this place. I love fighting these guys and the chair strategies. Oh, I almost... Definitely almost took the beating there. Majora's Mask strategies, Bomb Shoes Pro. These guys are definitely more intimidating as a child. One of the coolest Zelda enemies though, definitely. Twilight Princess, they had that cool enemy too. They weren't called Iron Knuckles, were they? I don't remember what they were called. And then the big chunky guys from Wind Waker. But this is why you do it backwards. Adult Link's major chest drops in, whereas the Silver Gauntlet chest is always there so we can hookshot over. The big Oron Sword, why? Because it makes the boss of this dungeon really fast, one cycle. That's the only reason why I put that there. And then this, is actually what it would normally be, but it's the final one. Now, what is that? Keeping in mind that one of my favorite things to do with these item placements is also double as a clue as to where you're supposed to go next. So where is the only spot in the game where the gold gauntlets mean anything? That's right. That's why we need all medallions. Yeah. Actually, truth be told, I think this whole child side 
It's kind of pointless, but it's fun to do. There's also something gratifying about doing this backwards. Backwards? Why did I say that so stupid? Back to the tangent. Uh... Yeah. I just kind of always imagined, like I said, like I knew after high school, you never see those people again. It's very rare. You may have like a handful of people you keep in touch with and see again, maybe. But the majority of people that you go to school with, you're never going to see again, and you know that. And you accept it. And by the end of it, too, you're so sick of school, you're like, yeah, I can't wait to leave this place. I'm going to move on to so many better things. Whatever your dumb kid brain thinks. And you never once think that you're going to miss it. Maybe kind of. Yeah, this is normally a small key, but did I leave it? No, it would be that fancy chest. Okay. I actually think I do remember that drop town menu. Just being like, what do I even want to put here? Crap. That was my logic. Hover boot strategies. That on the fly swapping, dude. I love it. But actually, it's the block that opens the doors, not the rupees. Oh, come on. I don't know, you do get sick of each other. Like, I probably would have been sick of, like, all the popular girls and stuff. And the jocks. The guys who kind of got on my nerves. I don't know, man. It's like a, a slice of home, and it's gone forever. I don't know, I don't know the words to explain how much it sucks. Because some people don't have that. I always say I was lucky to have that. Whereas the school, the very first school that I went to well after preschool, it was kindergarten through eighth grade. That's age five straight through age 18. No, wait, no. Through age 13. But then I even had the luxury of most of those people went to the same high school. So then it did go to age 18. So from 5 years old to 18 years old, I saw the same people and had the same friends. Not everybody can say that. And I say that that's a very lucky thing. But in retrospect, is it lucky? Because now I have to deal with the loss of all those people. They're still alive somewhere, most- well, not every, but some people are not here anymore. But I'm never gonna see the bulk of those people that, in my weird, weirdest childhood fantasies, I always thought would be there forever. A lot of the opportunities I didn't seize, too. And that is very much dealing with loss. Wait, we're gonna make this work. Yes, okay. You know what, we'll use a fire arrow, too, because I don't feel like swapping. Actually, I saw Majora's Mask Randomizer got updated, and they have a feature now where when you have your bow drawn, you just press R to swap between the arrows, kind of like Wind Waker does. That's a very nice feature. This is the boss key as normal, I think. Yeah. Like, actually, there's one guy, he wasn't really my best friend, but I hung out with him a lot, and... I don't know. I always thought he was a cool person. And there, you know how there's just certain things that always remind you of people, usually a song or something? That guy was a big fan of The Doors, and I was actually just driving earlier today, and a Doors song came on. I think it was, uh, Light My Fire. And I instantly thought of that guy, and I was just like, I wonder what he's up to these days. Went on a really cool vacation with that guy, actually. Him, his girlfriend, and a bunch of other people that I wasn't really super close to, but still... 
more than acquaintances with them. That was a fun vacation we all pitched in for a beach house in North Carolina. That was a great time. But again, just another great memory with those people that are now completely gone. Might as well just think of them as not being here. I know there's things like Facebook or whatever where you can try to get in touch with people. But the likelihood that people will go out of their way to get together again. Because again, then you're met with, let's just say you do go to that length. You mutually agree to go out of your normal routine that is now your modern day life to meet up with somebody from your ancient past. What are you actually gonna do? And there's gonna be that emptiness prevailing in the air the whole time of this is not the same. And it's gonna be bitter. Bittersweet maybe, but mostly bitter. Wow, that was... <laughs> Thank you, Big Goron. But actually, we should probably switch back because... This first phase... I've been cutting this first phase out of the past couple ones I've done just because it's so tedious anymore. I don't know, I could use this time to finish my thought, I suppose. Ah, see, this is why it's tedious. It just never works. They're always just doping around in some way or another. Is that it? No? Yes! Oh, thank God. They were extra annoying that time. But here we go, now we gotta switch to Big Oron Sword. And... One cycle this chick. This used to be my favorite boss, but yeah, I don't know, those witches are more annoying anymore. Still 0 out of 20 Triforce pieces. Yeah, this mechanic is just really cool. Did they ever use this again? In some other Zelda game? There's been mirror shields, but they never absorb stuff like a little childhood ray gun. Here we go, let's not mess it up. Yeah. And now we don't need the big orange sword anymore. We're actually done with adult Link. Well, no, not yet. We have the gold gauntlets, remember? That's our big prize. But we still need something else. I love that they shortened that, too. It's just all the little things for replay value only. It doesn't... Yeah! <laughs> the hollow link upskirt. Light arrows, yes. So the vanilla game bridge requirements are light arrows, the shadow medallion, and the spirit medallion. And that is still an option for this if you don't choose all medallions, but I think it actually defaults to all medallions. Either way, that's the last one. That is the option that we're rolling with, but now we have them all. And remember what we got before I went in the dungeon? We don't have the Prelude of Light, so there's no... No quick going back there. But actually, this action is good. Because what else are we going to get? Speaking of the Nocturne of Shadow, we have the three medallions that trigger the normal Nocturne of Shadow. So on our way back to the temple, or to the Rainbow Bridge, we're going to get something else. I can't remember what it is, though. I know it's important. Or convenient. I love that cutscene, by the way. Sucks that that one's shortened, but it makes sense. The Prelude of Light! Oh yeah, there it is. Now we have all the songs. Except for... one. So yeah, we'll save a little time. I never finished my thought because the witch fight was getting... really obnoxious. Oh! There it is, the gift from Zelda! The Light Arrows 
I just love that. But the door's still closed. Good. Remember, we need not just the Ocarina of Time, but the Song of Time, and we still don't have it. So I just think it's really awesome that you can limit those items till this very end. I mean, sure, we didn't do the Shadow Temple, but... We did Dodongo's Cavern in its place. I love this shot, too. Something about the angle always looked awesome. You never see that low of an angle of Link. He seems closer to the screen coming up that hill. There we go. All medallions and the light arrows, we were ready. But the trials are inactive in here, actually. Another great melody. And also, speaking of really good angles, this, I'm not even going to backpedal. I love how this is perfectly timed by the time you get down by these two statues. That's synchronized, like, welcome to Ganon's castle, I don't know. But we're here, we got the golden gauntlets. There are two things of interest, where is it? The light medallion trial where you need the golden gauntlets. And the great fairy outside, who, the latter, the fairy, I didn't actually give her anything. Everything we need is right here in this treasure trove. Oh, that's awesome. You never see it without the, the purpley bits. I love that animation of him chucking the rock. You only get to see it three times, too. But this room, look at everything is massive. Ah, oh, nuts. Ah, oh, nuts. So, yeah, a little bit of speedy, almost like giving up. Perhaps too much abridgedness. But th this is a very special room in the game, because it's the only one that has this much treasure in it, so... There's the last bomb bag. The quiver, and I thought this was very smart. Because there's no way into Ganon's castle. So both bows and potential bomb bag are locked in here, so you can't possibly get them elsewhere. Golden scale, I mean, eh, yeah, well, whatever. It's just nice to have it. The boomerang. Could have put that elsewhere, but decided to just kind of throw it away here. And the lens of truth. So now you might be thinking bottom of the well. But then the big reward for defeating all enemies. The song of time. So there we go. We did it. We're ready. So again, like I said, it's a little bit abridged. I could have made this even longer. And like I said, at that one instance where it's kind of reverse Ocarina of Time, where the last thing you do is the kid dungeons, but... I, uh... put emphasis on basically just the overworld kid stuff. Oh, they removed the best part of this game. And then the Force Medallion reward is the final song, the Song of Storms, which is actually required for one of the Triforce pieces. So here we go, back to the good old days. My personal dream. I just can't imagine, what would that feel like? You just imagine for a moment. If you went to bed and woke up in your, like a, a former body, just like 20 years younger or whatever. Or just go back to eight years old or, how old is Link? Is he 10? He's 10, right? Because he ages up seven years and then he's 17. Oh, it's nighttime. How convenient. Richard. No, not you. You're not Richard. Hold on. But yeah, the dog lady. You can't see her. See? This is our first example of things were better as a kid before the world was crap. People had happy dogs and they went for walks. No, I don't know. But it is all gone. Remember what this place looked like? Zombies everywhere. I can't think of the name Richard without thinking of Tommy Boy. I always gotta be a little slow here, because one time I ran full speed and then he was gone. He didn't appear here in the back alley. What is this lady's name? It's just Dog Lady, I think. Yes! 
We got our first piece of the Triforce out of 20. I placed 22 just to be safe because one of them, a past seed that I played, I did a thing and didn't get an item for it. So just to be extra sure, I put a little, a few extra than required. But Malin, this was an issue too, the stupid weird egg. This had better be the weird egg or we're screwed. Yes. That was another issue. Hence one of the 13 edits I had to make to this thing. The weird egg is such a pain in the neck if you're trying to plan to my stuff. I think I found out how it works though. You have to enable the option to shuffle the weird egg and then you're free to place it wherever you want. But if you disable it and try to place it, you get an error where it's like, Zelda's letter already populated in World 1, <laughs> or something. But anyway, this fairy fountain is kid exclusive. So of course we're gonna get a Triforce piece. So this is basically the, the, the final lap, I guess, for lack of a better analogy. We're just rushing to collect the pieces of the Triforce. And like I said, every single one is in these kid ex exclusive overworld spots. Unlike the last time I tried to do this, once again, where there was no Triforce hunt, so I still, in order to beat the game, had to become an adult and go beat Ganondorf. But not this time. We've made it back to childhood and it's time to enjoy it once again. That's the theme and that's what I'm rolling with. So the song from Impa, that is a kid only thing. I can't remember if I did the Talon's chickens. I think I left that out of here, but it's an option too. I actually didn't count how many spots in this game can only be done as Child Link. Cause that would be the true back to the past where you have to do every child thing. <laughs> Don't have the sword though, so we can't do the one crate trick. Wait, does it require the sword? I don't know. But I mean, we're here, I might as well spoil that. The Kakiri sword is what you get for defeating Baronade in Jabu Jabu's belly, but we have no need to actually go there. So once again, just a little bit of edits I can think of for a future plandomizer, maybe? But I, I enabled the fast Hyrule Castle option, so straight here. And then Impa. Excuse me? It happens out here, right? Yes! So that's three. Now what? Lon Lon Ranch. Uh, I don't think I... Well, no, Malin, though. Malin and the Tower. They're kid exclusive, so yeah. But I think I omitted Talon's chicken game. Like I said. It really makes me appreciate how much this game actually... The contrast between child years and adult years, they really do, at least that market area, they really do give off the vibe that everything has turned to crap. Zora's river's frozen, or domain. The Gorons are all gone. It's easy to just kind of overlook it nowadays. Because the world basically looks the same, sort of. Oh, you don't have to talk to her three times first. Okay. Oh, whoops. I started to play. We don't have to. All right. And now to the tower, because there's a crawl space there that you can only do as a kid. So there you go. That's basically the theme of this thing, but we got to finish it. So let's do it. And the childhood thing. Hi, Pona. I thought she maybe came outside for a minute. I don't know, man. If I could go back to my old body, like 1995, and just stand in my old backyard again. The rush of feelings that would bring. 
The cows. <laughs> That's probably what everybody's thinking right now. Oh, yeah, shut up. There it is, look at it, the triangle. Spinning in a pile of hay. Is it hay? So, what's next, actually? Let's think. Uh, there is a Skulltula in the graveyard. I don't know why that one specifically I gave a Triforce piece. It was just the first one that came to mind when I thought of Skulltulas that you could only get as a kid. The graveyard one. Um, but actually, it's a long way. Let's do the spirit temple rooms, because I'm excited about those. I don't know, I always make such a big deal about, oh yeah, those two rooms of the spirit temple you can only do as a kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As if people don't know. What is that instrument? Is it just somebody clapping? The introduction to this wonderful song? I don't know, just being here as a kid, even just seeing this again. Like, I expect Nabooru to be here. And even the fact that Nabooru was once here, and then as an adult she's not, it's just everything goes away, that's the theme. I never gave myself a Deku shield. So you can't burn anything, bub. Uh, I never gave myself a sword. That's okay, we have sticks, and we have bombs. Alright. Now, that crawl space leads to a locked door. I have the key for it, but we've already been there as Adult Link. But yeah, the left and right sides right here are the only rooms that Adult Link cannot reach. And therefore, they have two Triforce pieces. And this guy, you know what? I got a little bit of nuts for you, Bob. I don't know what that means, but it means Deku not to the forehead or the foot. And now the trick instead of the boomerang. I saw this in a video once and I just keep on doing it nowadays. I don't even remember how to do the boomerang part. Oh, he's got a shield up. Whatever, just go. Thank you, felt good. this Triforce hunt thing. I think if that's all it was, it would be stale, but I like how there was a lot required before this. Really? I mean, we had a good chunk of Ocarina of Time that we played before it turned into this. It's kind of like a little bonus reward. And that's what you do as a kid. You just go play and have your own fun. So many times I remember running around in my backyard and just my imagination going wild. I remember I used to always say that to my sister, the very rare instances where she would come up to me and say, do you want to play this? And I'd be like, no, I'm playing my own game. I was like, what are you doing? You're just running around the yard daydreaming. But that's what I called it. It was always my little romantic fantasies as a kid. Whatever girl I had a crush on. I was always running around my backyard, climbing trees, pretending to be in, like, some dungeon to save her. I don't know. Stuff you do as a kid. And then my sister comes while I'm, like, about to rescue the, the woman of my dreams. And I'm like, get out of here. I'm playing my own game. About to get a wife. I don't know. That's, that's how it felt. And those were the good old days, I'm telling you. I remember that, though, riding the school bus next to the girl that she had a crush on. Sitting next to the girl that she had a crush on. It was like every year, it's the big thing is... Is this the year that the girl I like, something might actually come of it? That was the big motivating thing of going to school every day. I don't know, just... My friend and I call that the Harvest Moon, uh, conundrum, I guess. Because if you play Harvest Moon 64 or something, or even Stardew Valley, I guess. 
That game is so much fun in the beginning when you're rushing like mad to make a name for yourself and woo the girl that you want to marry. But then we always said that once you get married in that game... What the heck? There it is. Let's get that graveyard sculpture But yeah, in Harvest Moon, once you get married, it just becomes so boring. It's like all the fun stuff of rushing and all the cool events with the girlfriend before you were married. Like, it's all done now. And we always were like, I wonder if that's how real life works. <laughs> and then my friend went and got married. And he was like, yeah, I've been thinking about that Harvest Moon thing. And he did say that when you get married, things do kind of slow down in that regard. You're not really chasing after something anymore. So you have to kind of invent new ways to keep it fresh. But this is the only one that I gave a Triforce piece. I don't know why, like I said. This is the first one that came to mind that's kid only. And now what? Where are the other ones? I don't think there's anything else in the village. The forest Skull Kid has something. Yes, he's... you play a song and become his friend as a kid. I don't know, something about seeing this backwards. Oh yeah, the gift from Saria too. Thank you, stump lady. See, she's not there anymore. She's forever gone in some magic land as an adult. But as a kid, she was your childhood crush. Or she liked you. Had things never gone to crap. Maybe Lincoln... How do you say her name? Saria or Saria? Maybe they would have been a thing. But it's gone. You may have rode the bus with her once, Link, but then the world went to crap and she's never gonna be anything anymore. Except a memory, and all you got is a coin. A little memento to look at and be like, oh yeah, I remember her, now I feel like crap. That's the flow of life. And this dude, once a great friend and then he owes the evil. Actually, you stab him when you become an adult and he gives you a bunch of money. You stab him and take his money. I don't know. But you get a triangle as a kid and that's amazing. 10 out of 20, we're almost there. Yeah, I like this better than doing the dungeons. The target in the woods. Once again, this is one of those weird spots where I don't know why this. It is kid only though, right? That guy doesn't exist with the bow. And then... Darunia's joy. On the concept of everything as a kid being joyous, let's go make this dude dance! Although I think they shortened that in the randomizer. But it doesn't mean the melody's not hot. Look at it, it's, this place is populated, there's all kinds of good things. It is like going back to the 90s. Well, you didn't think anything bad could happen. That's just my view of the world, though. It's my experience. The 90s was like this utopia. But there was bad stuff then, too, I guess. What's up, dude? I got a song for you. Get ready to smile. The world needs more of it. What a nice tune. Yes. Anything else in here? That Goron pot, I know to always avoid that if I do a plan though, because it's too random. The chance of getting the heart piece, having to do it 900 times before it spins correctly. Uh, let's go back to the woods. Because the river, Zora's River, we saw one on the ledge. There's one on the lower part, the frogs, the bean man that's dead and gone when you're an adult because all good things come to an end. That's the theme, we're not gonna let it rest. We have a scale. I don't know, why does this feel so different? Why am I so excited for this? It's the same game. 
This contrast has always been here. Why does it feel different? It's because it's reversed. It's that idea of going back. The fact that we came from crap, horrible times, and then you come back to this world and it's just full of everything good that you remember again. Could you just imagine how powerful that would be if you're somebody who had a great past? Or even just a handful of good times when you were younger. If you could just go back and embody it all. Not just go back as you are now with what you know now. But go back. Just... That's it. Reset everything. Ah, nuts. That's a euphoria that is unmatched, I think. But this is the one that messed up on a prior seed, I think. Frogs in the rain. I don't think they have to be big first. Just go slow. Okay, it worked. But that's one of the reasons why I put two extra besides just 20. Because I could have sworn... I did that in a prior seat and didn't get any kind of prize. Unless I'm losing my mind. But the Bean Man! He's got some changes now. Now they have a magic bean pack that you can get. And this guy sells you one item for 60 rupees. What's up, dude? Chomping on some beans? Yeah! Chomp, chomp, chomp. That reminds me. Uh, that one Nintendo Power where Link's talking about how he ate the last piece of the Triforce. <laughs> so stupid. Hey, right, chicken, let's go have a field day, because we can. Can you die of happiness? Because I think that's what, ha what would happen to me if I got to go back to, like, 1995. I don't know. Like I said, there's, there's no comparison. But it's the worst way to think. You're not supposed to look back, you're not supposed to look ahead, you're supposed to just do with what you can now. Remain present, they say. But look at the present, the present's crap! But then it's our obligation to be involved and make a change and make things good again. This is our time to make history, I guess. Man. This music is nuts. <laughs> Just got all dark for a minute. I forgot it did that. Dug that. Whatever. It's because it's the epic chicken adventure. I don't even know. Just imagine having a second chance at anything. But I feel like second chances with people is way bigger than chances with anything else. Four more to go! Well, let's go to the river. Or the domain. Why do I keep confusing the two? Because Zora's domain is a very happy place. And there is a kid-only thing we can do there. Actually, there's several. And it connects to the lake, which has a bottle underwater that's only there as a kid. We could go fishing as a kid. That's right. And look at how perfect is that, the golden waterfall on our hunt for golden triangles. I could probably spend the rest of my days talking about the same topic. <laughs> Just, do you know how amazing it would be if you could go back? I don't know if I'll ever be healed. There needs to be a song of healing in real life and somebody needs to play it for me. I don't know, man. When my parents pass away, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with it. They're getting up there, too, and you never know. I don't really want to think about it, to be honest. Yeah, triangle under the sea. Life is better where it's wetter. That could be misconstrued. But it's true! Let's go fishing. Actually, you know what? If I was smart, I would save this for the end. A nice casual fish. And then you win the game. But we're here. Let's just do it. 
Sun Song strategies. I used to be good at this. You gotta watch the sky and open the door just before it uh, gets too late in the morning. Oh, while well, I'm here, it worked. It doesn't open at nighttime. What's up, dude? You still got your hair. See, good things in the past. I'm so happy right now. Just being in the past, I don't even understand. It's not even the past. It's right now, but it's the past of the game and the, with the what? I've gone cross-eyed. Navi, do you not see where the big fish is? I know he's out there. I'm coming for you. The song and everything. Ah. Oh. oh yeah, here we go. Why is this so happy? I've never been this happy playing this game in years. It's fun, yes, but I don't know. I think I'm half daydreaming, to be honest with you. I'm fantasizing about this idea of going back to the past in real life. That's a big fish. Oh, no, it's not. It's only eight pounds. Doesn't it have to be ten? Well, it's bigger than his record. So that should still be the prize. Whoa. Yeah. Two more to go. Take my pole. See ya, buddy. Although I could be here forever. I know where one is. I put 22 in the world. How do I not remember? Unless the diving game. Did I put one there? Because the one that I do know is the torch puzzle. Lighting the torches of Zora's domain. We're about to do that right now. But where are the other three locations? I know Zora's letter is just to get to Jabu Jabu's belly, and there's nothing in there except the Kakiri's sword. Once again, proving a lot of this unnecessary. It would be neat to do the same concept, but then force going to the dungeons and not having the sword and having to rely on the sticks. I mean, we could give it to him. He just, doesn't he give you something? Maybe he does. Oh, that's right. He just gives you the bottle. And that instant warp is amazing. None of that mweep, mweep. Let's play this game. Maybe this is where I put it. I want to say no, though. If not, it's still fun to do. I think this area is why I want to be a fish. Why I wish we had a secondary option of gills. Then your parents could say to you, did you wash your kills? Yes, Dad. Really? Did you do a good job? Yes, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I remember, like, the first time learning how to take a shower instead of a bath. Your parents checking to make sure that you washed everything. So I just imagine if we had gills that we didn't really use too much, you would have to do some maintenance there. But the ocean is so screwed up. There's probably nothing worthwhile underwater. No, yeah, that wasn't it. Okay. Well, it was still nice to do. I enjoy jumping from the waterfall. Thank you. This is the song that you could fall asleep to. Yes. I might do that. But then where the heck is this last Triforce piece? Hmm. There's nothing else in Zora's Fountain as a kid except for the dungeon. We have already been over that. That chest should catch on fire, but eh, well. 
One more to go. Where is it? I'm trying to think what. It's not the Frog Ocarina game. I know I just did the Rain one, the Song of Storms one. Uh... Wait. Andrew's Chickens. Yes. Oh, had I known that this would be the last one. There's a new option with this. They must have seen my randomizers or something complaining about these chickens. Because now there's a slider option where you can dictate how many you want to rescue before you get the prize. And me being me, I set it to zero, so I should just be able to not rescue... Oh! The grave digging tour is one too. That's where I put one. Now I'm kind of kicking myself. I'm enjoying this childhood. I would gladly, this is like the first time I would gladly rescue all the chickens and not complain about it. But I set it to zero, so this is it. Game over. Hi. Whoa. You, okay. It just goes to this. Curse you. Yeah, get out of here with your foul nonsense. You're the reason this world sucks. That's a whole concept of a novel. Imagine one bad person in this world is the reason why time progresses. And if he just got locked away, you would be forever, like the Kakiri in this game, forever a child, forever in joyous times. But I guess we've already been over how living forever would suck. Well, it's kind of an abrupt ending. I, I should have saved the chickens. I was. I, it would have been nice if Child Link was here. That would have been funny. Are we really gonna watch this? We're not gonna watch this. Thank you. Well, there you go. That is a plan to miser. I that would like this one better. The fact that it does end in childhood and all of the tragedy that has befallen. Which would be the text box that goes when this comes up. Because I used to always sing that. I'd be like, all of the tragedy that has befallen. Hyrule was my doing. It goes with the song. Yes, now that the evil man is gone, take me back to better days. Play that tune. Make me happy again. I don't even know. Like I said, the euphoria... Euphoria, that word was. The euphoria would be unmatched. If this ever happened in real life, get beamed up and then you're just back. In that beautiful backyard in 1995. Ah! It's a sickening, traumatic dream, but it's my dream. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I'm not gonna sit through the credits, but... Uh oh Okay. Bye!